prayer and practice that breaks the yoke of lack and want. Let us come together in prayer, acknowledging the power and wisdom of our Heavenly Father. As we open our hearts and minds to His Word, we find solace, liberation, and abundance. Heavenly Father, we humbly ask for your divine guidance and understanding, that we may apply the teachings we receive today. May we truly escape the chains of lack, want, and deprivation, in the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ. Furthermore, we lift up those among us who are ensnared by unseen forces, those who feel powerless against manipulation. Dear Lord, we implore you to intervene and set them free, aligning with the promise of your word found in Obadiah chapter 1, from verses 17 to 18. But on Mount Zion there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. The house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, but the house of Esau shall be stubble, they shall kindle them and devour them, and no survivor shall remain of the house of Esau. For the Lord has spoken. Therefore, we declare this gathering as our Mount Zion, a place of deliverance and reclamation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray that our enemies and oppressors become like the house of Esau, consumed by the heavenly flames sent by the angels appointed over your people. Thank you Heavenly Father, for being faithful to your promises, as we pray in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, let us explore the empowering technology that leads us out of poverty, lack, and deprivation, a technology embedded within the very pages of the Bible. This sacred book, not only our key to salvation, but also holds answers to our physical and economic needs. Contrary to popular misconception, God does care deeply about our financial well-being, it is a matter close to His heart. In 3 John chapter 1, verse 2, we find a powerful testament to God's care and desire for our prosperity. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health, just as your soul prospers. These words resound with undeniable clarity, a clear and resolute declaration that God not only cares, but yearns for our prosperity above all else. Having established the profound truth that God desires our prosperity, we now inquire about our role in manifesting His plans. The Bible explicitly outlines the steps we must take to make His abundant blessings a tangible reality. First and foremost, we are called to genuinely and wholeheartedly love God. As 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 assures us, But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man. The things which God has prepared for those who love Him. This verse resonates with the promise of unimaginable blessings, awaiting those who passionately love and devote themselves to the Almighty. Such blessings, hidden from the natural senses, are unveiled to those who embrace a genuine and intimate relationship with God. Love is the key that unlocks the hidden treasures of heaven. As we open our hearts to God's love, His abundant provisions begin to flow into our lives. It is not merely a superficial, fleeting affection but a deep, heartfelt connection that propels us into the realm of divine blessings. Moreover, God expects us to align our thoughts, beliefs, and actions with His divine principles. By diligently studying and meditating on His Word, we gain insight into His ways, which lead to prosperity and success. As Joshua chapter 1, verse 8 advises, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Through a deliberate and continuous immersion in God's Word, 
we are empowered to walk in His divine wisdom. We discover the practical principles and strategies necessary to break free from lack and want, stepping into a life of abundance and fulfillment. In Psalms 91, from verses 14 to 17, the scripture reveals a profound truth. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him, I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him, and show him my salvation. Genuine love for God becomes our divine passport to abundance, and the ultimate escape from the clutches of poverty, lack, and want. But love alone is not the sole key to unlocking God's blessings. Next to loving God comes the vital call to serve him. When we dedicate ourselves to serving God, a miraculous exchange takes place, the fulfillment of His promise to reward us. Job chapter 36, from verses 11 to 12 reveals. If they obey and serve Him, they shall spend their days in prosperity, and their years in pleasures. But if they do not obey, they shall perish by the sword, and they shall die without knowledge. Serving God and practicing kingdom stewardship pave the way for advancement and prosperity in life. Our commitment to fulfilling His purposes positions us to receive divine compensation and enjoy a life of abundance and joy. Furthermore, cultivating a lifestyle of gratitude holds immense significance. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18 instructs us. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Expressing gratitude becomes a divine requirement for pleasing God, thus attracting His abundant blessings. Proverbs 10 verse 22 beautifully confirms. The blessing of the Lord makes one rich, and He adds no sorrow with it. To attract God's blessing that brings true wealth, we must please Him through acts of praise, worship, and thanksgiving. The grateful heart becomes a magnet for divine favor and provision. We must not take the grace of God for granted by succumbing to laziness and idleness. Diligence stands as a divine prerequisite for the release of God's blessings. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 10 emphasizes. Therefore, brothers, be all the more diligent to confirm your calling and election, for if you practice these qualities, you will never fall. This passage underscores the importance of being diligent and industrious in order to obtain God's approval over our prayers and desires. Laziness, whether in our physical or spiritual endeavors, is detestable in the eyes of God. Finally, dear friends, let us also remember that God's desire for our prosperity extends beyond our financial needs. He longs for us to prosper in all aspects of life, physically, emotionally, relationally, and spiritually. As our souls prosper, aligning with His divine purpose, we find ourselves transformed from the inside out. Let us approach the challenges of lack and want with unwavering faith, fortified by the promises of God's Word. Embrace the power of love, surrendering ourselves to the depths of His affection. Immerse yourself in the divine wisdom encapsulated within the Bible, allowing its principles to permeate every facet of your existence. As we embark on this journey of prayer and practice, the yoke of lack and want will be shattered, replaced by the bountiful blessings of our Heavenly Father. May His abundant provision and unending love overflow in our lives, drawing others to witness His grace and goodness. Remember, you are an embodiment of God's prosperity, a living testament to His faithfulness. Embrace His promises, walk in His ways, and watch as the shackles of lack and want are forever broken. 
Let the world witness the glorious transformation that occurs when we partner with God in prayer and practice. Let us pray together, seeking the Lord's guidance and empowerment to put into action all that we have heard. Heavenly Father, we thank you for granting us the grace to comprehend and declare your word. We earnestly beseech you to endow us with the strength and determination to implement these teachings, so that we may experience the blessings you have promised. In the name of Jesus Christ. Furthermore Lord, we intercede for anyone whose blessings have been hindered by the schemes of the enemy. We implore you to release divine deliverance and freedom in their lives. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We offer our heartfelt gratitude for answering our prayers, knowing that you are faithful and true to your word. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.